Here you go guys, well, I hope you enjoy this video. It's a nice selection of trio of bass, brill and turbot here. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Morning folks, it's 5.30 in the morning and I'm outside the Premier Inn in Southampton and uh, I'm going fishing with my friend John this morning. Here he is. Morning John. Morning. Where are you beat at? Inbound. That's a nice boat, I think. I was going to upgrade, I'll upgrade something like that. Ellie Marie. It's a pretty solid, solid yeah. piece of kit, isn't it? Yeah, it is. A bit of weed growth on that is as well, mate. Yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty nice boat. Yeah. Seven yeah. metres. Yeah. It's, it's the same length as wide, but obviously like twice as wide. Yeah. Back feet. All tied axis was just a bit dream. Hey guys, here we are down in Portland. John's boat again. You may have seen that. If you haven't seen that uh, from the previous video we've done, uh, have a look. Fishing Portland, UK. Uh, we're out again today. It's now nearly come at 7:30, so a couple of hours down the road with a couple of stops, and we're going to set up and get ready to go out. Pretty good fun on the lake here. What do you reckon? A uh, couple of feathers and a slow jig or just slow jig? Just straight, straight on the slow jig, I reckon. With a bit of a, a, bit of a trace or just straight on? Straight on. Straight on to the mono. You've got a little leader on there, haven't you? Braid yeah, with a mono leader. Short leader. So on the other rod, if we just, um, there's a reel there for you. Just stick a, a clip on and we'll probably put some feathers on for now. And then we can stick the Portland rig on to it when we swap over. Good. Right. The bass tide will be from about half half nine-ish onwards, so we'll do a bit of mackerel and slow jigging and stuff over the slack. It's a nice rod. Yeah, another icon. Is it? Yeah. Solid, uh, solid eyes on it, like reinforced eyes, I like that. Mm. You put a slow jigger and perk on the ball and some lead. You just put a weight on them, but you, you, there is a um, Dexter in there you stick on. Something will, something will crack on the, onto the old Dexter, I reckon. Well, you may as well, if you jig it up and down, you yeah, may as well, you know, there'll be something exactly. down there. When you hook a macro, it attracts. If you, you know, if you just stuff. put a lead on there, you're limited. You're never going to catch anything on there. Oh. Right, that's strong enough. Hey, the rain stopped as well now. It has. Yeah. We'll get going in a just minute. Just in time. Justin. Thank you. 
this old this old building reminds me of Alcatraz. It's quite haunted uh, haunted building. Anyway, we're going to try some macro on this point here as the as the tide comes around the corner. This is the this is the entrance to Portland Harbour. See the the mouth of the the mouth of the harbour there. There's a couple of seals and I try and zoom in. I'll zoom in on the camera, but there's a couple of a couple of seals sat there. Let's hope they haven't eaten all the oh, there's another one there, there's three of them. Let's hope they haven't eaten all the mackerel already. Hopefully they've left some for us. So we're just outside Portland Harbour still, the Weymouth, the Weymouth fleet's coming out in their droves. These are the Weymouth boats here, you can see they're all heading out, heading out for days fishing. I'm sure we'll see them out there in the in the race off Portlandville. So um, yeah, there they are. a light a light spinning rod set up here just over a, a reef um, uh, this is the end of the ebb tide so the tides are a little bit slack so we're slackening off just trying a little slow jig just on what's this 10 pound line or something that no, maybe 15 pound line down to the depth Oh, that was lucky. 
Okay. Oh, yes, that's a better bit. Mackerel on the sleeve. There. Oh, where are we going? Look at that. John's on. John's got one. Oh, it's gone. Oh, he's gone. Ah. Oh. oh. Fish released, safely released at the side of the boat with a catch and release from Tullow. <laughs> Don't bully him. <laughs> Rip the thing out of his mouth. Oh, there he was. <coughs> Got acquaintances with the <coughs> Hopefully, not too many bloopers. It's only like half eight in the morning. He's a man! <sighs> Mackerel scales everywhere. I don't know when it's drift. Drifting there. Uh, come up, go again. Wonky drift point. Bloody like a dog leg. Duck. Not dropping off the dog cocking the leg. Not dropping off the ledge quite quick. Yeah, we're coming to the good bit now, but it's something very like it can be very subtle fishing, can't it? Yeah. Actually hooking up hooking things up. Definitely. Oh! Like that, he did. Yeah. That's better. I oh, don't know. Yeah. What the? That's, that could be a cod. Well, no, it's a ma it feels like it's a mackerel. Oh, it's a mackerel. Cool. But maybe I put it in the side. Or a breeze. Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's gone. Is it? Oh. Oh, no. That's that, the way that's going out. No, I put it in the side, I think. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, that's why it stopped though. Yeah. Mackerel with a bass chasing it. There you go. That's why it stopped though. Eighty, eighty feet, eighty-five feet. Kind of some kind of drop off here, and there's yeah, a bit of the area. A bit of sign down there as well. This sign, but a market, something market. Show it. Wicked tuna. Uh, have you seen any tuna off here yet? Not this. Oh, yes. Fish all. Oh, hello. That's not a mackerel. in. Go well on the light here. Bass. 
spiky little devils. Bass. Get him back. They grow bigger. See you in five years' time. This is cod territory though. Uh, as, we get, as we drop off. Oh, something just whacked that on the way in. On the way, that's a bass. That's a bass. Bass nailed it on the way in. Fish on. Going back in the time. Here he comes. Going well. Give me the old run around. Give me the old run around. I haven't seen it. Yeah, I've seen it in the nice one. Chris in the neck. Oh! oh he's <laughs> Here we go again. It would have been a key. <laughs> well, it was, it was borderline, wasn't yeah. it? That was a that was a bass for the uh, catch and release. Yeah. He, was, he was capable, but he might have let him go. Well, I'll probably switch to the other side of the ledge. But um, then we'll get the old uh, bass gear on and do some drifts down through here, see if we can get a bigger one. If not, we'll drop back over the ledge on the side of the there so we get a I'm now going to try slightly heavier uh, workout workout um, rig with a set of mackerel feathers, look like that, and slightly bigger slow jig. Give that a go. Sort the, sort the men from the boys. Bumping it back across this ledge, 90, 90 feet of water. Come on the cot. Or the bass are a nice big grip. Whatever. Whatever, Trevor. A few jellyfish are out. I saw a sunfish the other day. Yeah. They, I think they eat the jellyfish, don't they? They feed on jellyfish. Yes, they do. They've got turtles. Well, they're both of them stoked, I think. I haven't seen turtles. That's a good sign. Oh, yes. Oh! Jono's on! Right, see if we can keep, keep hold of it this time, Jono. Oh, nice fish. Jono's into a nice fish here. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can. Probably going to get the net in a minute. Oh, nice. Oh, you got it. Stop being at the bottom and then come up. No. Oh, no. That had you. Good fish. He had you. Oh, he's back again. He's back again. He's back for more. Oh, yeah, there he is. Back. Not Just as enjoy... good. This isn't as big as the first. Just enjoyed the sensation of being hooked. Hooked on fishing. Got his hooked on fishing. It's a bit smaller than the first. That's where the bass are, chasing those mackerel. So I said, the mackerel are there, the bass are there. Oh, hang on, let me get the, um, let me get the net on a second. Just slack it off my drag in case I get... Okay, you need the net? Right now, I'm just drag it Sure, not really. Not really big. There we go, little bass call. Little bass call. That's all. Oh. Nice little fish. Some bigger ones down there, as you've, uh, as you've shown. He had you, John. He had you. Leave that first one, didn't he? Did you? Did you? So you got, you got done. <laughs> had you in the ring. Yeah, it's good to see all these. Look good to see lots of little bass, because I guess I have to wait a few years, but we're going to be in some good sport. Good sport. Blue sign there, look. That's fish. Get amongst them.
bass, I reckon, is it bass? Plugging for the bass. Sorry, mackerel down there as well. They're chasing old mackerel. Oh, hello. What's that? Oh, Jesus. Jesus, creepers. Here we go. Might be a full string here. I was into the mackerel. String full of chuggers. <laughs> Jeez, that is a string. There's even one on the slow ship. Shut the hell, Bob. <laughs> that's, that's what you call a full house. Follow my leader, two by two. myself a starfish. Uh, 
fast there with John. Right, John. There we go. Puts out. weedless white sand eel thing I found in there. So we switch tactics again. What we're doing now we've got we've got a Portland rig where the weight can slide up and down. Sorry the trace can slide up and down like this. We've got a 10 ounce uh, we've got a 10 ounce ball lead uh, onto a 10 foot trace and I've got to get that knot out of my line, my trace. That that won't be good. Um, <clears throat> onto a little white rubber sand deal. And we're bumping it up a up a ledge in a few knots of tide, hoping for the bass. This drift will have one. Fish on. Bend the rod. See the old yellow one. They like the old yellow one. Yeah, very visible. That's another keeper for sure. Oh yeah, that's all right. It's like three or four, four maybe. Yeah. Absolutely 
golf that lower lip. Perfect hook up. Nice fish Tom. Here we go guys, this is what we're after. One of those. It's gotta be a nice four I reckon. What a beauty. Yellow weedless, love it. Nice one. That's what we want. Well, one at least twice that size, though. Beggars can't be choosers. Just nice to be catching them. Just nice to be catching them. Right, let's go again. Bassy action. You don't want when you when you hook that big fish. You definitely don't want little knots in your line. No. Especially using 20 pounds fluorocarbon. You do not need that in your life at all. One bit. One iota. Three keepers now, so we're going to go. selective. Mildly moist now. <laughs> A little bit of rain coming through now. Back. Off he goes. One more. Oh, 
I'm more drawn for stay up, stay up, maybe stay up there. Yeah. Catch them for fun. The old weaver's wonder. They work well there, they also. I should have bought a couple more of these. I'll come up. drift we're going to have on the bass or moving on to something else. John's in as well. Guys, a bit of uh, bassing action Beautiful. in the Portland race, so um, are they about the same size? Yours is bigger, is it? Slightly, isn't it? Okay. I'm going to let, I'll let mine go, yeah. We'll We've got one lucky one and one less lucky one. Oh, it's pandemonium! Panda. I'm letting this one go. We've caught our quota for the day. John's going to keep his, so I'm going to pop, pop this one back. Perfect, 
nice fish going on in there now. Lovely table sized bass. What do you reckon? Four pounders? Yeah. Sort of three to four pound, aren't they? Four pound. You beauty. So we've caught our, our quota. John doesn't have a commercial license, so under UK fee, sea fishing rules, we can keep two each per day. So we've kept our two, and we're now going to move on to some other form of fishing. Probably a bit of turbot and brill on the shambles bank. First, yep. first things first, right, we're now on the shambles sandbank, absolute shambles. And uh, we're using the same setup, so we're using 8 foot, 20 pound glass, 12 to 20 pound glass rod. This one's an icon. Medium sized multiplier loaded with 20 pound braid or similar. And we're using a 6 ounce lead. Six foot trace with my favourite, my favourite uh, turbot bait is a launch flapper, which is a big sand eel with with a backbone cut out and a 3 0 hook, 20 pound fluorocarbon trace. Off we go. Where's your line? Oh, should I send my I'll send mine out the other side, shall I? Straight out the back, I think. Yeah. We do like two each two each side. Right, you need to be just going straight out the back. It's handy, isn't it? Twenty five is a shower that's better. Do you have a fish up on, on the head? Yeah, the end generally is when I start the end generally takes time. Recently, it's slowed. This sort of stuff is just doing better. Bumping that slows you against this bank as well, cases of bath. We've got four rods out now, a couple of each. A couple of each, so. We've had a few bites, a few little runs from small bass, but. Oh, that's one of them. Fish hole. Bass. I would have thought the shambles would be well organised. <laughs> Come on the turbantines. That was it. That's enough. Mm. That's good. You're ready to get that one on. Are you still working on yours? Or? Oh, 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 That we are. 
hopefully we're about to have a brilliant Absolute end to the drift. Brilliant finish. What we need. Oh, I've got a winding turn. That's the end of that one. Yeah. I've kind of caught on the, another connecting knot. Oh yeah, the backing. But no more, I've got no more to give. No, no more to give. No more line to give. Here we go. No. Oh, that's a break. That is a break. There ain't nothing on there. Oh, hang on. Hang on. It says. Push on, push on. Yeah, flapping. John's might have a flat fish here, yeah. flat, flatty, flat out. Brill there, guys. That's a brill. How can you tell it's a brill? Nice and smooth. No smooth, knobbles. Smooth back and more, more elongated than a turbot. It is. Big old, big old mush. That must be a nice three or four pounds. Well, three pounds. Yeah. They're coming home, as you've heard, as you're hearing, coming over the dinner table. Okay, guys, a camera ran out there. John's into a Nice flatty here, we reckon. Another flatty? Well, yeah, I reckon. Hopefully another brill. Hopefully. Yeah. 
he really committed he committed to that one. Brill surfing, surfing up the tide here. I don't know if you can see that. Here he comes. Is that better than the last one? That's right there, but I think. It's going deep. It's going deep. Here he comes. That's a keeper all day long, that. All day long, look at that. Beauty. You go, mate, well done. Lovely, lovely, lovely table size fish, that. That's a nice, that's a four pound, isn't it? Well, three and a half. That'd be four pound, isn't it? I reckon. What's the beauty? Four, four and a half, I reckon. Solid. Well done, mate, really. It's rare to do the trio, isn't it? Brill, yeah. turbot and bass. There you go. The shambles has come up Trump's top. And we're not finished yet either. No, we're not. not finished yet. Let's just turn that there. Give it a show. Give the camera a show. Oh. There you go. Prime summer turbot that. Nice thick, that's a nice thick fish as well. Lovely fish. So that's the trio done. Bass, tick, brill, tick, turbot, tick. Frozen mackerel. Frozen mackerel for the win. Oh. It's nice little, nice little turbot there, but it's a bit small for our needs, so he's going back. Let's just film the, let's film the return, the return of the flat. Straight up. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Right. As one returns, another one appears. What do you reckon? Flatty again. Flatty again. Right. John's got a flatty, we had two at the same time there. The flatties are on the feed. We had a potential couple of other bites there as well, but we've got, we've got, um, you know, we've got fish on. Can we size this up? 
Film this one going away as well. Yep. John's going to put this one back as well. Off he goes. Straight back down. Well done. Well done, Jono. That's another couple of couple of turbot down. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed that one. So, if you like what I'm doing, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. And we will see you on the next one. Brilliant.